One of the great things about the Dustless Blaster is versatility. You have the ability to use a wide variety of abrasives, wet or dry. In the Dustless Blaster, you can use sand, garnet, coal slag, recycled bottle glass, and basically anything that sinks in water. All these medias are a little bit different. Coal slag, for example, is black and can embed your substrate, so the metal won't be quite as clean as it could be with glass or sand. Sand can be more aggressive than glass. This area of brick was blasted with glass, whereas this area was blasted with sand. As you can see, the sand etched the brick, whereas the glass did not. Our favorite abrasive is recycled bottle glass because it's clean, it's inexpensive, it's safe for the environment, and it's perfect for a wide range of jobs. Whatever media you choose to use, the most important thing is that it has a consistent particle size. A wildly varying particle size can cause the machine to sputter or clog. The low quality sand that was dumped into this DB1500 had a very inconsistent particle size, ranging from fine sand to small pebbles. This inconsistency caused the machine to have subpar performance. You can see that the particle size on our glass is more uniform. For recycled bottle glass, we recommend using no less than a 4070 grit, and here's why. This glass gets crushed, then it goes through a furnace to burn off all the labels and beer and organics, anything that isn't glass. After that, it gets sifted through different size meshes, and that's how they sort out the different particle sizes. The problem with a grit below 4070 is that it's likely to have burned up trash and ashes and dirt in it, which basically turns into mud inside the machine. If you need a grit less than 4070, we recommend using glass bead, which is very clean and consistent. The glass that we sell is a high quality product. It has a very consistent particle size and minimal trash. We sell it for $10 a bag, but there are many different distributors of recycled bottle glass, so you don't have to buy it from us, but you do want to make sure that it's a very good quality product. Consistent particle size, minimal trash. An easy test to run is to dump some glass into a cup of water. If a bunch of trash floats to the top, you may have a lower quality product that might not perform optimally. So to summarize, whatever blasting media you choose to use, make sure it's a high quality product with a consistent particle size and minimal trash. If you have any questions, you can always call us.